Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are making these DIY It's a Small World Holiday ears. It's a Small World Holiday from Disneyland is one of my favorite, favorite attractions ever. Uh, I was mind blown when I saw it for the first time in person last year and it just felt like such an incredible magical experience. I wanted to kind of recreate that in my own home to be able to make some ears to make it feel more magical for this holiday season. For this particular DIY, you do need fabric transfer sheets or you need a die cutting machine to make the face. So you can either get some uh, fabric transfer sheets on Amazon or you can use your Cricut or a Silhouette or any die cutting machine that you have just to make the face. But everything else you can get from Joann's or any craft store. So oh, if you guys are ready to do It's a Small World Holiday Ears, stay tuned and let's hop into it. <laughs> Again, I am taking some of my white fleece flannel uh, fabric. You could use whatever fabric you have. Um, I would definitely go for white though. And I like the fleece flannel one because it's very soft. And uh, I'm just using my ear cutting template to cut out my two ears. I actually had folded over the fabric so I only had to make two cuts instead of four. And similar to any other ear tutorial, if you don't know how to sew or you don't like sewing, you can always hot glue these. I prefer sewing um, just to get a cleaner look in my ears. So I am just using my sewing line um, to draw a line of where I'm going to sew. And then I pinned it and then I head to my sewing machine to go sew those up. After sewing the ears, I trim around the edge just to cut off the excess fabric so that way you don't have anything kind of bunching up when you turn them inside out, which is what you're going to do next. Next I moved over to my Cricut. If you don't have a Cricut, you can easily use fabric transfer paper for this as well, but I ended up using my Cricut. I found my design. I actually bought the SVG on Etsy, and you could probably find it without having to buy it, um, but I just want to make my life a little bit easier. So I, um, since I'm using iron-on, I want to mirror the image as well. And you can see I'm only fitting it to the size of what the ear is going to be. So then I'm going to set it up on my Cricut. If you are using iron-on vinyl, you want to make sure that the shiny side is down when you're cutting it. Um, but obviously if you're using fabric transfer sheets, it's going to be a little bit different of the process. Um, you can definitely use whatever you have. Um, for the fabric transfer sheets, I know that you also have to mirror the image, but you're obviously not cutting it, you hand cut it. So. If I'm being honest, this was one of the hardest things I've ever had to weed, so I just ended up going in with a gold paint uh, to fix whatever I had messed up, but I'm using my <laughs> Easy Press now. I preheated it um, and then I just press it for about five seconds before I apply the iron on vinyl. And like I said, uh, this was very, very difficult to weed. And I don't know, uh, it would definitely be easier to do fabric transfer or if you guys are better weeders than I am, I'm just not very good at it. And uh, yeah, it was difficult because everything was very tiny, intricate, um, but it was so easy to go in and fix with gold paint. Next, I'm taking one of my art bowls that I use to make a perfect circle in this red felt. Um, I'm cutting this out to start my hat. So what I end up doing is cutting this circle in half and you will see that right here. <laughs> Look at me cut this in half. Um, and then I will take just a small piece off of it. So I just take out like a little quarter of it, like maybe a third of it. Um, and then I will start to roll it up and I hot glue this. Um, it's pretty easy to just hot glue, let it sit. Um, make sure not to burn yourself if you use a low temp hot glue gun. Um, much, much better than a higher temp hot glue gun because you are going to burn your fingertips off. But just glue it so that you have um, your seam in the back. And then I am going to take a little dab of hot glue. I think if I, whoops, I dropped my hot glue gun. I think if um, I were to do it again, I would probably move it more towards the front, um, this little fold for the Santa hat. And then I'm going to put a little pom-pom on the back, a little white pom-pom. And then I'm taking this felt that I got from the Dollar Tree and I am just folding it over to make a little nice seam. And this is going to go around our uh, Santa hat at the bottom. So I'm going to start at the seam in the back just to make sure that it's a a little bit cleaner and then work our way around to the other side. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I am following a very similar step to what I normally do with my ears. I am filling in my ears with some foam. I have my foam cut out with a foam template, and then I am stuffing it with polyfill. A lot of people ask what I use to stuff it. It is exactly polyfill you get at Joann's. Um, they have like big bags or five pound boxes. Um, it's really, really soft. I really prefer it over anything else um, just because it is very soft and it's very fluffy, and I like my ears to be fluffy. And then I take the little edges, um, the folds that I left from my ear cutting template and I fold them in. Um, you can sew these but I actually just prefer to hot glue them. It saves a lot of time. And then um, you have a finished ear right there so I'm doing that for both ears. And we are onto our fabric for the bow. I typically cut my bow fabric to be eight and a half by 11 inches, and then I cut a little strip of fabric to go around the center, and then I cut out my headband uh, fabric as well to cover my headband. So typically I have been using uh, double-sided tape to line the inside of, or the outside of my headband, and then I will go and hot glue everything in the sides. Um, so I find that this to be, this to be much more uh, convenient for me. It's just a lot easier for me. And then I'm taking a tape measure. My headbands are typically 37 centimeters and then I divide that in half to find the exact middle of my headband which is where my bow is going to be. And then I take four centimeters um, on each side to find where my ears are going to start. So you could very lightly see them. I use a Posca paint marker to mark them just because it is opaque enough for me to see them. Um, but about four centimeters apart. While I uh, sew all my ears, I do use um, a little bit of hot glue just to hold it in place so that it is easier for me to sew them on uh, just because I go bonkers when they fall off. Um, so I just cut it out <laughs> so you guys didn't have to see me hand sew my ears. Um, but I do hand sew all my ears, but you could easily hot glue them as well if that's what works for you. And then here I am using my fabric to sew my bow. So you can see I do the good sides together and then I find my seam and then I show my seam on the outside and then sew that as well. Um, hot dog and hamburger styles, all the foods, and then I have my bow. And then you could just easily accordion fold your bow and uh, there we are, my ears. And I am going to take a little bit of the hot glue, fold some of the fabric in just so that um, we have a clean uh, crease, a clean seam at the uh, edges for the inside or the middle of our bow, the center of our bow, that's what we're calling it. Um, so here I am, I'm accordion folding uh, my bow. So you can kind of see, you can take your time. This is one of the things that I take my time on because I want my bows to look really nice. And then I place little dabs of hot glue in between the folds just so that I hold it there and it can dry and then I flip it over to the other side, do the same thing. And then I hold it there in the accordion fold until it dries and uh, sometimes I'll squeeze it together and then I take a little bit of hot glue and glue it to the bottom of where my bow, uh, center of my bow is going to start and then I just wrap it around. Usually I have excess so I have to cut that off as well and then once I do that I hot glue it to my headband. Next, I am taking the little Santa hats that we made. I am putting them directly on the ears. I wanted them kind of on an angle. Um, like I said earlier, if I were to do this again, I would probably move the little fold to the front so that you could actually see the little pom-pom, but I do enjoy how they turned out. I know you guys don't have to make Santa hats if you don't want, but I wanted this to be like, it's a small world holiday. And then I am taking some braided uh, trim to line the inside of my headband, some red braided trim so that I can make it look all festive and pretty and has a really nice clean finish to the rest of your ears. Thank you so, so much for watching. I know this DIY was a little bit harder to follow because it was a little bit more complex, but I wanted to show you guys how I made these ears. Um, there are a few things that I would probably do differently in the future, especially with the hat. I think I would have the hat coming forward, but that's always something that you can decide when you're making your own. I just wanted to show you how I did the process of making it, how I made the face, how I made the hat. But like I said, you can use fabric transfer sheets off of Amazon or from Walmart. They only cost like $10 for a whole pack of them. 
So I think it would be a really fun DIY to try out if you guys want to. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. Every single day of December is Vlogmas. I am doing videos December 1st to December 25th. It is my third year of doing it. And I would love for you to come back tomorrow to see what else I have planned. Of course, DIYs, Disney hauls, Disney pins, all the Disney things. So I would love to share these with you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow.